Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Fixing Your MacBook. Now today we're going to talk about an extremely serious MacBook problem that no user wants to encounter on their laptop. But before we do that, please tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future updates. Now coming back to today's topic, like I said in this video, we'll be discussing one of the most dreaded MacBook issues, i.e. when you see the folder with the flashing question mark during startup. This issue usually appears when you turn on your MacBook, but instead of booting normally. A flashing folder with the question mark basically means that your MacBook can't locate the startup disk, thereby resulting in a boot failure. If you're going through the same issue on your MacBook, there is a huge possibility that your hard drive on your laptop has failed. Continue watching this video so that you know how to fix this issue. It's worth noting that the flashing folder with the question mark on your MacBook is a pretty rare sight. As far as the causes are concerned, there are only a couple of reasons due to why your MacBook may fail in finding the startup disk. A corrupt version of macOS can cause the MacBook to display the flashing folder with the question mark. Apart from Mac, if the system files are corrupt, you are likely to get this error as well. If you're booting from an external disk, that disk probably isn't connected properly and this could cause another reason for the folder with that question mark. Hardware issues could also be the problem, not just software. For example, like damaged cables that connect the motherboard to the drive or the drive itself is damaged. Furthermore, if you are getting this issue, the worst case scenario, your logic board might also have a flaw. Whatever causes the error, there is no need to panic as there are ways to fix this issue. So let's quickly talk about the various working solutions to fix your MacBook flashing folder with the question mark. If you're using the internal drive to boot your MacBook, you can simply use the startup manager as your drive may be booting in into the wrong drive or partition. Once the MacBook boots into the Startup Manager, you can easily select the Startup Disk from the Apple menu to initiate a normal boot. First of all, you want to shut down your MacBook by holding the power button. Press and hold the Alt or Option key until the Apple logo starts up on your system. You'll be prompted to the MacBook Startup Manager. Here, select the Startup Disk using the arrow keys and tap Enter once you have selected the right part partition or drive. Your system will start up normally without the flashing question mark folder. If you are unable to find the startup disk in the recovery window, it's quite possible that the hard drive has crashed due to some reason. If that's the case, then you can simply use the disk utility feature in the recovery window. Disk utility is a built-in feature of macOS that's designed to automatically detect and repair a damaged hard drive. Firstly, we need to get into recovery mode. To do that, turn off your Mac by holding the power button. Then turn on your Mac and immediately press and hold the command and the R keys. Release the keys when you see the Apple logo, spinning globe, or any other startup screen that you may have on your Mac. You may be prompted to enter a password such as the user who is the administrator of the MacBook. Enter the requested password to continue. When the startup is completed, you will see the utilities window. Then choose disk utility from the macOS utilities window. Select the startup disk, which is typically named Macintosh HD. Click the first aid tab and tap the repair icon to repair the startup disk. Wait for the repairing process to complete and then restart your Macintosh. And if it's not booting into the right drive, then use my previous step to select the right drive and then boot in. If Disk Utility has successfully repaired the startup disk, you won't see the MacBook flashing folder with that question mark anymore. If none of the previous methods work, the only workable solution that will help fix the issue is to just reinstall macOS from scratch. However, this method will remove everything from your hard drive, which means that it's really important for you to back up your data onto an external hard drive so that you don't have to deal with any data loss after erasing the startup disk. You can use a data recovery software to recover all of the files from your internal hard drive to an external storage device. Once the data has successfully recovered, you can put your MacBook into recovery mode and reinstall macOS. Firstly, again, we want to make sure that the MacBook is fully turned off. So make sure that you hold the power button until it's fully turned off. Then turn it on and immediately press the command and R keys 
to put your MacBook into recovery mode. Within the Mac OS utilities, click reinstall Mac OS. In the next window, select the Macintosh hard drive and erase the previous startup disk. Then just simply follow the on-screen instructions to reinstall Mac OS onto your MacBook. Keep this solution as your last option because you are most likely going to lose all of your valuable data if you didn't back it up previously. However, if this is the only way to fix the issue, then please make sure that you use a recovery tool to restore all of your files before reinstalling Mac OS. At this point, you already know how challenging it can be to fix the flashing folder with that question mark on your MacBook. That's why it is crucial to take preventative measures so that you don't run into this issue in the first place. To avoid the flashing question mark folder at startup, make sure that you press and hold the command and R keys when you reboot your Mac. In this way, your computer will attempt to restart your Mac through the recovery partition. If this works, then it means that you have a good drive that is in good condition. Then you can use the disk utility to repair that particular hard drive or partition. This will prevent unexpected hard drive crashes and your laptop will easily find the startup disk during its initial boot. We really hope that this video has helped you get rid of that scary flashing folder with the question mark on your Mac. Even though it can be a pretty terrifying situation to see this logo on your screen, following the right methods is key to fixing the issue. In case you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button and leave a comment down below for any new suggestions. Finally, hit that subscribe button to watch more useful videos like this as it inspires us to make more videos when you support the channel. Anyway, everyone, take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.